Thank you. I'm really super excited to be here. And uh, thank all the boy, Al Heyman, Bella, Eric Bentley. And thank you so much. I'm, uh, I'm here to, you know, for some respect. People think I'm, uh, I'm 40 years of age, but do I look 40? I look, uh, I look way younger. I feel younger. And uh, I know it's a hard test for me on Saturday, but I'm going to give it uh, all I have. And uh, I'm coming for win. And like uh, Len Botai said, he's the parmesan, I'm the wine. As I age, I get better. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Now he is fighting probably one of the most exciting fighters in boxing today. Everybody loves watching him fight because he brings power, he brings speed, but he also has skill. You know, and, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go out on a limb here and say that we can probably be witnessing one of the, you know, future world champions. Could be. But, but, Saturday night he's got a tough, stiff fight in front of him. You know, but that's who he is. That's who he wants to fight. He wants all comers. He wants to fight the very best. He wants actually to be in a tough fight. The power, the speed, the intelligence. He won the WBA interim world title um, with a 10th round knockout over Diego Chavez uh, in July uh, 2013. An exciting fight. I mean, he hasn't been in a dull fight probably his whole career. He just gives us those entertaining fights that we just, you know, we, we, we must watch him. We have to watch him, you know. And uh, he's only 26 years old, has not even hit his peak. He's had two successful defenses against Jesus Soto Caras and Julio Diaz. So this Saturday night, he knows it's a very important fight. All eyes will be on this card. And, uh, you know, whatever happens on Saturday night, you know, you move on to that world title fight and you move on to bigger and better things for both guys. So there's a lot at stake. With a record of 23-0, 21 knockouts out of Clearwater, Florida, Keith one time, Thurman. Thank you, Oscar, for those kind words. Thank you, everybody, for being here. Thank you, thank you my team. Thank you, Team Heyman. Thank you, MGM Grand. I'm excited to be here. This is my third time just being here uh, this year. I was here for both Mayweather fights, and I'm truly excited to be the co-main event. Um, me and my team, we're really looking forward to getting back in the ring Saturday night um, after a, a slight eight month layoff. Um, for those who are wondering about my shoulder, it's fine and you'll see it working pretty well in a few days here. Um, like Oscar said, man, I'm excited. I come to fight. I'm looking for uh, tough challengers. Um, I really would be like to fight this guy right here or that guy right there, but you know, Obviously, we can't make that happen right now. But uh, at the end of the day, I told my team, we gotta fight a respectable guy. I don't care where you get him from. You know, I wanna fight somebody that's undefeated. I'm undefeated. I like fighting undefeated fighters. It's, um, this might be the fourth, four, I wanna say the fourth, possibly the fifth undefeated fighter uh, in my career. I'd have to look at it. I'm not paying attention. I'm just running through a lot of people right now. Um, you know, I know the fans are itching to see me back in the ring. I know the fans are truly looking forward to 2015, but you know, you guys got to tune in Saturday night here on Showtime at the MGM Grand, man. It's going to be a, a great fight. Um, like they said, Bundu's an Olympian. Um, it was my dream to try to make it to the Olympics um, in 08. I fell short, so I'm actually extremely excited to um, get to gauge my skills and my talents up against an ex-Olympian. Um, 
I'm truly blessed to be where I am today. And uh, like always, man, show up, get the popcorn, get your beer, hold your pee, you know what I'm saying? Because if you don't, you just might miss it. It's one time, every time. KOs for life. Don't blink. Thank you, everybody. All right. Now, before, um, before I introduce the uh, main event on Saturday night's card, let me introduce to you a fighter who, um, who always performs, who always gives a great show, who is learning, who is growing, who is becoming, you know, that fighter that you don't want to miss watching. Uh, to say a few words, he's fighting on Saturday night, uh, Jermel Charlo. Jermel. Yeah, we bet. The Lions. Um, I appreciate everybody for coming to support support me and my brother. Um, unfortunately, I didn't get the chance to fight for the world title. I know a lot of people want to know uh, how I feel about that, but uh, I'm just, you know, moving past that. I'm staying focused. Demetrius Andrade didn't get the fight. I don't want to give him no pub right now because he's not here. So um, I'm staying focused and in control of uh, what's going to take place Saturday. I know Al Heyman and uh, my team, Danny Arnold, Ronnie Shields, we all working for it uh, and looking for it for 2015. My twin brother, um, he barking up that IBF. Um, I'm on the road for the WBO. We got Ernest Lonnie Lara, which is in the WBA, and uh, you know the WC wide open. So I'm ranked number three in the WBC, and I'm you know continuing to push. So I'm gonna continue to grow, continue to stay smart, and stay focused. I thank you, thank everybody for being here. Um, Lines only, baby. All right. Now for the main event, we are here. First off, it'll be uh, Team Devin Alexander, and he's gonna be uh, speaking on behalf of Kevin Cunningham, who can't join us uh, today. He was uh, feeling a little ill, and he's recuperating for uh, making sure that he's gonna be okay for Saturday night. Uh, let me call up to the podium. Lamar Jackson. Lamar. How y'all doing? I got a quick request real quick. Y'all put y'all arms up under the damn table, man. God damn, y'all flying to be over here, man. Damn. Whoa. Woo. But anyway, man, I'd like to thank God. He's the head of my life. Uh, Without him, I'm nothing. I'm speaking on behalf of uh, a great man. Uh, he's taught me everything I know about this game, and I'm sorry he can't be here right now. Um, let's speak for real, man. Let's, let, I'm, I'm a, I, I, Anybody that know me know I'm going to talk for real, man, and I ain't going to change because I'm in front of some cameras. I'm going to talk some real stuff to y'all tonight, and it is what it is. Look up Kevin's resume, and I put his resume up against anybody's resume. He's the best trainer in the game, man. So I just really wish y'all give him the credit that he deserves. He, he's really one of the best trainers in the game. Numerous titles he's won. I mean, he's, he's I mean, he's a phenomenal person, man. And it, he'll be back. It's just you know, it's just a little minor setback. You know what I'm saying? Whatever. But uh, let's talk some more for real truth. Devin Alexander. I put his record up against anybody record up in there. Go down his list and tell me what fighters fought the fights that he's fought. I, I beg you to bring me two people that's done, done accomplished what he's accomplished. I'm not here to disrespect nobody. I'm not here to cast aspersions against nobody. I'm just going to tell you about that guy. 
He came from nothing. You know what I'm saying? He's, can't, he, he's, he's truly the American dream. He's, he's come from the bottom to the top. Pure, pure hard work, pure and simple. Put none in his body, all natural. I'm not here to cast this person against nobody. I'm not here to say nothing against no. I'm not here to disrespect nobody. I'm just here to speak the truth about his record and his resume. You know, we we often be at the gym and uh, we talk about like, man, oh man. We just can't believe all the names that you done fought, man. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it's, it's like a blur, you know? And I, I've been this, I've been Kevin's assistant and Devin's assistant trainer since maybe 07, 08. You know, Devin was probably about 6 and 0, 07 and 0. Kevin came to me and said, hey, you know, you, you know, I used to be a fighter. You know, he said, you know, you done fighting, man. You not fighting no more. Uh, you know, come on on with me, man, and train Devin. I said, uh, no doubt about it, I'm in. You know what I'm saying? We've been rolling ever since. You know, um, Kevin, Kevin, as when I was a kid, he always told me, I promise you, he almost told me we was gonna be here. He always said it. it, it we had a lot of guys, we had a lot of guys that, that had potential that Devin had, but they didn't have the discipline. This is one of the hardest working guys I've seen in the sport. I, 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 we have been everywhere. I've been everywhere. I've seen guys train. I just, I'm an observer and I just watch this. This is the hardest training kid I've seen in the sport of boxing. And come Saturday night, that, that vision that Kevin told me that, that, that way back when, when I was a, 13, 14 year old kid, it's about to come to fruition. Thank you guys. This, this next young man that I'll be introducing to you, not only is he a former welterweight and junior welterweight world champion, but he's had victories over Jesus Soto Caras, Marcos Maidana, Lucas Matiz. Wow. The winner of five of his last six fights. He's coming off an impressive, really impressive win over uh, Jesus Soto Caras. And he's a fighter who, you know, as my partner would say, Bernard Hopkins, you know, one of those throwback, you know, throwback fighters, you know, hard worker, disciplined. Knows what he wants, you know. Um, yeah, I believe. I, I believe when when you say he's the hardest working fighter out there, you know, he's he's he's, he's got that in him. That's what makes him who he is. That's why Saturday night will just be exciting, explosive. Can't miss TV. Out of St. Louis, Missouri, with a record of 26 and 2, 14 knockouts. Let me introduce to you and the president of the great promotions, Devin Alexander the Great. God, first and foremost, um, without him, nothing's possible, like my brother said. Um, I want to thank a few people that um, had something to do with getting this fight made. I want to thank um, Golden Boy, who's done excellent with my career since I've been with him, so I want to thank Golden Boy. Um, Showtime, who continued to showcase me and show me to the world. Um, and all the host of other people who had something to do with this fight, Al Heyman, for continuing to give me the best fights he can give me. Um, this is my first time being at the MGM, first time fighting in Vegas, actually. And I want to thank the MGM Grand for allowing me to be here. And you guys home, you guys showed me nothing but hospitality, and I love it. Um, Force the fight. If I, if I forgot to thank you, I'm sorry. What? Force the fight. Like my brother said, my resume speak, speaks for itself. I don't sh shy away from no, no competition. This is boxing. You got a lot of paper champions out there who wants to, you know, fight the, fight the least bit of threat for the most money. Um, 
going to fight a, a bomb fighter for the big money, you know, they want to escape their way to the top. But, you know, at the end, it would all, you know, play out and the, the strong survive. Um, I, since, since fighting Gene Order, I done fought nothing but top-notch guys, um, back to back to back to back. Um, some good, some bad, but, you know, top guys. And everybody who knows me knows I come to fight. I want to thank the Mercom for taking a challenge this time, taking a challenge and, you know, fighting some, a legitimate fighter. I want to thank him, thank, thank his team, thank my UK fans, because I do got some UK fans who really rooting for me and, you know, they want to see me with the throne. I don't know what it is about Khan, but a lot of UK fans want to see me beat him for some reason. So I don't know what's going on over there, you guys, but. Um, um, I, I just want to thank, for, thank him and his team for accepting the challenge. Um, I'm ready. I'm ready to go 15 rounds if we have to. If, if somehow the timekeeper you know, messes up the timer or something, I'm ready to go 15 rounds. And I just want to, I'm happy to be here. I'm excited um, with all this going on in Ferguson and you know, the ride and everything that's going on. You know, coming here is like vacation for me, you know, having fun, you know, just because all that stuff going on back there is crazy. So I just want to thank everyone who has something to do with this fight, and I'm ready to go it's Saturday night. Next up is Team Khan, and next I'll call up to the podium. His trainer, uh, the man who makes it all happen, that's Virgil Hunter. Virgil. Uh, give thanks and uh, pay homage to Showtime, Stephen Espinosa, Al Heyman, Oscar, De La Hoya, and Golden Boy. Uh, promotions and all the press out there from the UK and from the uh, United States, the ones I know and don't know. I uh, see a lot of faces out there that helped me along as uh, I was starting from the bottom to the top also. I see Dan over there who gave me great advice uh, during those times. Uh, I was just sort of reflecting um, back when it all started and sort of tying it in to being here at the MGM Grand. I think it's uh, my fourth time here. Uh, and just really grateful and humble uh, to be here because I know what it means to put a little kid in the car and drive him 300 miles just to fight three one-minute rounds and see him get a trophy and be happy as he can be and put him back in the car and drive him back home uh, month after month, year after year. Nothing promised to you. Um, you put it in because he wants to put it in. And that gives me a very good perspective of this sport because what it allows you to do is to stay in pace with where you are. It also gives you the ability to look ahead, and it also gives you the foresight to look what's coming behind. That's what starting from the root to the fruit does. So when I see all these great champions up here, uh, I've known Devin since he's been 10, 11 years old. So. I know what he's cut up. I know how he's cut. I remember Keith uh, watching him as an amateur. And also, I'm very aware of this young man behind me, Errol Spence, who's very well coached, very intelligent fighter. So I know what's going on in this business because I respected the business and started where I was supposed to start from. So when this fight was announced, I knew exactly what we were up against. And you can best believe that um, 
I let Amir Khan know what we were up against. And you have to just take it from there. Um, all these fighters are great. And one thing about me is I never, ever count any fighter out um, at any given time. That's why I would encourage Victor. I would encourage all the guys who've had a setback in every other profession in the world. If there's a setback, we applaud them when they come back. But this is the only profession when it's a setback that all of a sudden he's finished, he's done, he doesn't have the capacity to do it again. This is why I serve and love fighters. I don't think I have anything to prove to anybody. Never been here for any accolades, anything like that. But if I have to be honest about it, I've been to the top in the amateur game with the last gold medal. I've been to the top in the professional game with the number two pound for pound fighter in the world. Some think he's number one. And it's a pleasure to work with Amir Khan, who I feel has the ability to set the bar very high. I never got captured by some of the things and experiences that he had to endure. Um, his family is second to none. They've treated me with the utmost respect. And it's a pleasure to be here in this moment. It's a pleasure to be here in this business because I can remember, like I said, nothing was promised to me. I can remember those rides. I can remember the trophies. I can remember all the various amateur tournaments. I'm looking at this little fella, Andre Berto, over there. I remember when he was 13 and 12 years old. So I've seen these kids grow. And I'm pro fighter, and I'm pro young man. That's my whole mission here. If I can help you, I'll do my best. Sometimes we come up short, but I'm here to help these young men. So we're well prepared for this fight. We know exactly what we're going up against. We're well prepared. And what happened, just let it fall where it's going to fall. Take care, everybody. This, this next young man has been a unified super lightweight world champion. He has uh, great wins over <coughs> Zab Judah and Paula Malinaji, and he's been in there with the likes of you know, the uh, Julio Diaz's and Danny Garcia, and you know, the, the list goes on and on and on and on. And one, one, thing about, one thing about this next fighter I'm going to introduce to you is that when it comes to discipline and dedication and you know, really, really loving what he does, there is no favorite, there is no, I mean, this, is, this is a great fight. So it has always been my pleasure to be working with a fighter who, who respects what he does, even when he's not training. You know, he respects his craft 365 days out of the year. You know, he's a professional. He trains and he, he's always up for the toughest challenge. You know, when this fight was introduced, hey, bring it on, were his words. I, I, I want to fight the best. I want to fight. I want to fight the big guys. You know what? Do I, what do I have to do? So he's willing to do anything possible to to get those big name challenges. But <laughs> you know, you got you got Devin here, who uh, who is who is uh, they don't call him the great for nothing. But both fighters understand that they're facing greatness each other. And it's going to be a tough fight. It's going to be a fun fight to watch, but a tough fight, you know, for both guys. But that's what they love to be in. And that's what's so admirable of these two guys. So let me introduce to you, out of Bolton, England, with a record of 29-3, and 3, 19 knockouts, Amir King Khan. Uh, hi, everyone. Uh, thanks for coming to the press conference. I want to... Especially thank the UK press for coming all the way from England. 
um, to, to cover this fight. Also, want to thank uh, Showtime for pro you know, having this fight on. Also, Sky Sports for showing the fight in the UK. Um, MGM Arena, a great arena. I've had my last fight over here. It was a great result for me. So it's going to be great to have another great result and uh, you know make it the home of, of boxing for me. I mean, I love the place. And my dream was always to fight in Vegas at the the biggest arena and you know the MGM. It's time now where I'm headlining here and it's like dream come true. Um, I want to thank Virgil Hunter and Tony Brady, my trainers, for working me very hard. You know, it's been a very tough camp for the last 12 weeks. I've been pushing myself very hard. Um, I've been focused throughout the whole camp. I've had some great sparring partners and everything. And, um, you know, we're going to come to fight and come to win. I mean, you know, normal setbacks, you know. Um, I've lost in the past, but learn from those losses and come back stronger from them. Um, 140 was a, a weight that I was, you know, making, it was very difficult for me to make the weight and stuff, but now at 147, I feel like a different fighter, I feel much more stronger, happier making weight and everything. And um, it's just great to be here, you know, in headlining in, in Vegas. I mean, like I said, you know, it's this dream come true for me. And, I'm up against Dan Alexander who's going to come to fight. I'm not taking this fight lightly. You know, I'm not looking past this fight one bit because I know it's going to be a tough fight for me. And I'm just going to, you know, put all that work I've done and stick to the game plan that Billy Hunt has given me in the corner and just stay focused. Uh, I want to thank Golden Boy and Oscar De Hoya for putting this fight together because, you know, one thing I've said to Oscar is I want to fight the best guys out there. And I've never shied away from any fight or any fighter. Um, so, you know, that's just the type of fighter I am. Um, and I also want to thank Richard from the MGM, you know, for putting this fight on here. Um, but yeah, guys, come Saturday, we're going to put a great fight on for you guys. It's going to be it's gonna be two guys with a very similar style, you know, speed, explosiveness, power. We have everything. I miss one not to miss. Um, and, you know, I'm really excited for it now. Time is coming close. I just have to keep calm. And... Uh, Give the UK fans the fight they want to see, and also the USA fans and the fans around the world. You know what this fight is going to mean to me is going to be, it's going to be big. I also want to thank my fans in St. Louis who always tweet me and say hi to me. You know, I, I have a lot of fans from there, man. So they always invite me there. So I thank them and, and um, also Stitch to run. Just want to thank you as well for all the hard work you put in, and Robert Garcia for all the and Kille. So I have, a, I have a great team around me, you know, and I think it's the team that gets you far, you know, gets you to where you want to be. Also my father, who's, who's also in training camp with me, you know, making sure everything went nice and smooth. It was a tough training camp, one of the hardest, and I feel in the best condition ever, honestly. I feel in great shape, so no excuses. I'm looking forward, and um, hopefully this fight will, you know, I'm going to set a statement. Thank you very much for turning up here, and thanks, guys. Thank you very much once again to all the media. This concludes our press conference and now we'll pose the fighters for pictures. Thank you very much.